Hey guys, I uh, just read on Twitter that uh, Adobe have released the Lightroom 5 uh, beta. So I've literally just downloaded it. I haven't opened it myself yet. So I'll um, just uh, open it up and see what I can find on it. Okay, so um, I actually uh, watched a short video uh, this morning just after I read it on Twitter and uh, they do say that you won't be able to use your normal catalogue from Lightroom 4 at the moment with this because it's the beta. Um, so you actually need to open a new catalogue. Uh, so I'm just going to make a new one. And I'll call it Beta 5. So there it is, opened up. Um, to start with everything looks pretty much the same and um, some of the icons look a little bit different but other than that it all looks the same and um, what you're going to need to do when you open this is actually import some images into it um, obviously because you've made a new catalogue um, I wouldn't recommend uh, using this to actually make your images at the moment just play around with it um, because once the uh, the programs actually release this beta will stop working and you might find you actually lose some of the things that you did to your images and so I'm just going to go to import and I'm going to import some uh, raw images from my um, my usual um, folder that I've got them on Okay, so I've got some images. I'm going to import them into Lightroom now. Uh, you can still see they've actually still got all their edits um, from the previous version of Lightroom. So what I'll do is I'll just pick one and then I can play around with uh, doing some editing. Just have a look to try and find a decent one. That one to do. Okay, so open that up, get rid of the highlight things, and I'm going to reset it back to its uh, default how it was taken in the camera. Okay, so the first thing I see here is a box up here that says original photo. Uh, it says build a smart preview for this photo to allow offline editing. Smart previews are typically much smaller than the original photos, but they allow you to continue working on it even when the originals are missing. So basically it creates a small image of the main image, which you can then edit. And then once you've sort of uh, reattached the main image, if you like, um, it will then apply all your editing from the small image to the big image. Um, so that's really good. You can keep all your main images on an external hard drive um, but then create copies of them, but smaller to save space. Edit all the small ones, and then once you reconnect the um, the external drive, it will copy all the uh, all the work that you've done over. So that's the first thing that I can see. Um, crop, spot removal, red eye, graduated filter, radial filter, which is new, which I'll look at in a minute, and the adjustment brush. And uh, the first thing I want to look at is the new clone brush. Um, they've actually made it now so you can actually brush on uh, clones rather than just spot heal. I'll just quickly demonstrate that. Um, before you'd have to just pick a round spot like that and then create a clone and then you could move the clone around. What you can actually now do is press down and then holding the mouse button down you can actually paint uh, paint your clone area and then you'll see it'll take a sample of the same shape from a different part of the image. Again, you can move this around any way you want. So that is brilliant. Um, before, if you wanted to do any sort of big editing like that, you'd have to go into uh, Photoshop. Uh, it's probably still not going to be perfect, um, but it's a lot better than what it was before. Uh, you can change the size um, of the brush. And you've still got the clone and you've still got the heel as well. Um, heel seems to do a better job with that. So that is now brilliant. And again, you can just paint 
you with all the bits that you want to do. I just obviously this isn't right and it's doing it just to show you. And again you can just delete them with the delete key as well. Um, if you want to do a straight line you can hold the shift button whilst doing a mouse and that will give you a straight line. So that is brilliant, that's a really good addition. Okay the next uh, thing here we've got this um, it's called a radial filter uh, what this does is actually you can make a circle in the image like that as you can see and then you can apply different effects to it I'll just put it all dark like that so you can just see what I'm doing so you can make uh, vignettes you can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things you can put a circle wherever you want make it any sort of shape you want and then the the inner area will stay the same but then the outer area you can go crazy with and uh, do whatever you want you can invert it as well so the uh, inner bit has all the adjustments and up here you've got all the same sort of adjustments that you would normally have uh, from the adjustment brush uh, you can adjust the feather so you can have it solid so you can put big blobs in your photo like that so that's another uh, I guess it would be useful in some circumstances I can't think of any at the moment um, but for imagine sort of creative portraits and stuff like that that could be quite interesting to try um, with this image I I can't really see it working. I suppose I could, um, I could do like a fake kind of uh, tilt shift sort of thing by bringing the the clarity and everything down on the outer piece. Um, but apart from that, I can't really see it being much use for this photo. But it's there anyway for you to use, which is good. Oops. And the next thing that I want to show is, should we just get rid of this? And um, there's a new um, distortion, automatic distortion um, adjuster for images. Really, I don't have any pictures of images uh, to show you, but basically, it can automatically uh, straighten your images like that. And it can sort of skew them. If you've got pictures of buildings and the buildings are leaning or whatever, um, it can actually adjust them for you. So if just reset that. That's how the original photo is. And then just by clicking Auto, um, it straightens it up. Obviously, it needs to crop into the image a little to straighten it. Uh, you can probably play around with that and adjust it. So that's really good. Um, I don't have any... Let's try this image here. This might be a bit better. To show you that, I'm just going to reset it back to default. Click also and see it straightens up the lines there really nicely. That'd be really good for uh, pictures of buildings, not coffee beans and coffee machines so much. Uh, I think that's the main new parts of Lightroom. There's probably other stuff under the hood um, that you can't see, um, but that's the the three main things that I wanted to show uh, the new spot brush, the uh, radial filter and the automatic um, straightening um, perspective ok guys that's it, that's the new Lightroom 5 beta, you can download it from Adobe and play around with it yourself um, hopefully I'll find some other bits that are hidden away in here and hopefully the final product will be released soon so there you go, cheers guys